I think destruction is so unimaginative. It's so boring. Now rebuilding, that's exciting. My mission is to rebuild our world and to empower others to rebuild their own lives. I'm a social entrepreneur. Uh, I believe in the return on love as much as the return on investment. What are you doing on this earth to make other people's lives more wonderful by giving them dignity and jobs? When I started, we didn't even have a word for it. And now, because of the millennials, the whole world's demanding products that are meaningful, that have purpose, that are changing the world. You know, nine out of 10 millennials will switch brands for one with a cause, and we have a cause. Actually, I do get a lot of nice emails from young people who want to be social entrepreneurs. I got a nice email from a young girl. She said, you know, Barb, you're so refreshing. You're not jaded like other old people. We all want to live with meaning and purpose. And you know what? Sometimes life is not going to go to plan. My job is to wake people up, and when I'm finished my talks, no one's going back to sleep. I had a normal life back in 2006, uh, and then the unthinkable happened. My best friend was serving in the forces. He was sitting in a peaceful shura, discussing how to bring clean drinking water and health care to the families of the village. And a man who didn't want to see his community have free thought or free will put a Taliban axe through my best friend's head. Whenever you create something that no one's ever done before, you get to be called a trailblazer or a game changer, but that doesn't come without a lot of walking on glass. It is really tough to change the game. I had people make fun of me. The banks wouldn't give me a loan. People told me I couldn't do this. Can you imagine if I ever listened to them? I went from launching in my garage on my Visa card to becoming one of the top-selling clean at Sephora perfumes across the USA. The only way that happened was I wasn't letting anyone stop me from protecting my ideas. Have you ever had people tell you you can't do something, right? You have an idea and someone doesn't like it? Well, here's how you're going to protect your ideas. Socrates said that women should value giving birth to their ideas as much as they value giving birth to their children. If someone wants to harm your child, you would kick them to the curb. If someone wants to harm your idea, you defend that idea. And here's how you're going to do it. It's for men and women. I call it the cheeky Socratic method. So when people said to me, you'll never get that perfume into the perfume store. Instead of defending your idea, you ask a good question back. That's the Socratic method. Ask good questions, grow with friends, be curious. So when they said, you'll never get that perfume into the perfume store, I said, why? Is that what happened to you the last time you made a perfume? <laughs> I took the stoic wisdom of the philosophers and brought it to everyday people. This wisdom is 2,400 years old and it can't fail you. I mean, I wrote a book on it and I'm in awe every day this stuff works. And it's the basic virtues, the seven virtues, wonder, Balance, truth, courage, justice, wisdom, and beauty. Daily practice, daily practice, daily practice. Like a muscle, you have to rip it, but it can't fail you. When I take people to a heavy place to rebuild, like Afghanistan, Haiti, or Rwanda, or even their own lives, I really have to lighten it up a little. You know, when you look out in the crowd and you see people on the edge of their seats and they're doing all that amazing work, all that heavy soul searching, you really have to give them a breather, you know, from all that awakening. If you have anyone undermining you, remove them. I mean now. Like not right now, don't call them, but maybe like tonight. <laughs> I travel uh, around the world from Haiti to Puerto Rico to Rwanda and across North America. And I'm looking for social entrepreneurs who are rebuilding and I want to tell their stories. When disaster hits, the whole world cares. But after a week, people get forgotten. I use socially conscious storytelling to keep people reignited long after the initial disaster or event. Keep caring about these plate building places, keep investing. And it's not just about keeping us reignited in these developing nations. It's about keeping ourselves excited in our own stories, our own adventures. That's the key.